Hi, Randy Bullock and Diesel Army. Um, we're out here in the driveway again, doing some more work on the Project Workhorse, but this time we're working with a company called Blue Ox. We're actually putting a, a fifth wheel hitch in the back of the truck. For you guys that aren't aware, a lot of fifth wheel hitches require special hookups into the bottom of the bed, be it a puck system or a rail system. With the Blue Ox BXR2100, you do not need that. As long as you have a gooseneck ball, this hitch will actually attach to the gooseneck ball, fasten into your truck with that, and you'll be fine with a fifth wheel hitch at that point. So it's a lot easier to work with, it's a lot lighter to work with, it's half the weight of a typical fifth wheel hitch. So we're going to unbox, see what we get in the boxes here, and get it put in. extra bolts on it. <laughs> There's our base. So kind of gives you an idea how simple it is to work with. As you can see, it wasn't anything for me to just pick it up and throw it around the table with a typical fifth wheel hitch. You're not going to be doing that. Let's see what we got in the other box here. Hopefully we don't need that again. All right, overall, this thing looks really easy to put in the truck. Hopefully we can get it done here in a couple minutes and we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, this thing's a lot lighter and easier to maneuver than a traditional fifth wheel hitch. Um, underneath here, a couple pins. Undo the pins. Like so. Uh, loosen up your top bolt. What this does, as you loosen this up, it lowers the stem at the bottom. Turning that bolt actually lowers this down. So, brings it down over your, your hitch, and then you get the pins out. Now, as your ball slides up in, you got a pin on each side of your ball to hold it in place. Simple enough. And up. And over. That's the hard part. Okay, you gotta go down a little more. All right, now I should be able to get my pins put in now. A little more, yep. Yeah. There we go, the lock pin's on it. All right, that's that. Then, tighten this up, 45 foot pounds. All right, there's that. Now on the back side here, you can't really see it in the video. There's a, a locking stud. You send him in and hit the jam nut and you tighten him up. We'll get to that later. But first thing we need to do, open up this little bit so we can put our head unit on. I don't know if you can see these here, but on your head unit, it's got an adjustable height to it. Your handle goes to the driver's side. Just for the sake of setting it in here, I'll just pick any hole it falls into. And that's that. Bring this guy around. And pin him. Okay, now, as I said, the holes are adjustable, so you can raise this up or down depending on your hitch height of your fifth wheel. It's hard to believe it's that simple, folks. Pull out. We are ready to hook. Okay guys, before we go and hook up to the camper, I just kind of wanted to bring you into the bed of the truck and give you a little bit closer look at what the, the Blue Ox actually is and how it mounts in here. As you can see, no puck system to worry about, no rails to go across the bed. I have a gooseneck trailer I pull. I can hook this to my gooseneck. I can hook it with a fifth wheel. Now I can pull just about anything I need to. As you can see, the, the pin down the side there, that's adjustable for your height to raise your fifth wheel head up and down. Those two bolts right there with the bar, once you get your height decided, you tighten those down and that gives you hold your head from moving back and forth. And that's it. I mean, it is really that simple, folks. That funnel makes it kind of nice because it, if you don't have to be perfectly centered, it feeds it in. And now that I know that's the height I want the head at, I can go ahead and tighten those bolts up, and we'll be good. As I said, very simple, very easy setup to put in your truck. Um, 
took me what, all of five, seven minutes to put this in. Tighten it down, it's clamped in place, you're ready to pull your fifth wheel.